Mel Sounds were underway here, Rock and Rebel, and his new protege, his new project, Leslie Leatherman, who would like to be a new member of the Rebels, already taking on Slick Wagner Brown at 67290 of Big Dorian DeVille. For this match, anyway, Joe. Absolutely, pa fans picking their own favorites here. That's what's great about FNW action. Fans having a good time, regardless of who they cheer and boo for. Colorado about tie up coming up. No, Slick Wagner Brown backing off. You know, I like Slick Wagner Brown as much as anybody, but he's better keeps his attention on Rock and Rebel. He can't be turning his back on a, a seasoned veteran like the Rebel. Well, well, for a team that have physiques and are in as good a shape as Brown and DeVille, looking across the ring, a guy like Leslie Leatherman, why are they so hesitant? I don't, I don't know why Rock and Rebel's even considering allowing Leslie Leatherman to join the Rebels Army. Obviously, they've done this research on this Leatherman guy. They know something about him because they're pretty hesitant right now. Side headlock on Rock and Rebel. One of the toughest guys you will ever see in a ring. Quick roll up and a kick out. One count by referee CJ Sensation. Wow. Lightning like quickness by Slip Back and Great go behind and a takedown. Walking up the spine of Rock and Rebel. Slip Back and Brown talking about his accomplishments. Appearing in NWA TNA Ring of Honor. 3PW, so many high profile independent organizations, as well as Rock and Rebel, who's been all over Pennsylvania and abroad, CZW, Ring of Honor, etc. Two major super indies, if you want to use that phrase, in the ring right now. Side headlock by Rock and Rebel. Wagner Brown pushes him off. Shoulder block. And the tank of a man, Rock and Rebel, gets him down. Side headlock takedown. I'm impressed by the athleticism of both these men so far. Maybe Leslie Leatherman, Leatherman would never even need to get in the ring. That, that would be a treat to us all. We don't want to see that slob well, actually try to wrestle. Well, you haven't seen him yet. How can you judge? I've seen him in the past. But then he tried to act like he was some sort of wrestler. He didn't bring Quakey to the ring that I know of. What, what do they say about judging a book by its cover? I only buy books with a nice picture of a pretty girl on the cover. I don't know about you. I don't doubt that. High impact move by Brown takes down Rock and Rebel. Woo! Took too much time. Rebel duck at the elbow. Arm drag takedown. And a slick one. Rock and Rebel in full control. And Slick Wagner Brown showing obvious frustration thus far. You know, you talked about both of these guys being uh, you know, great super indie wrestlers. But uh, I fully believe that either one of these guys, Dorian DeVille, too, could go ahead and put anyone in the business, period. Including the WWE, these are some true of becoming superstars. Oh, no doubt about that. You want to talk about Dorian DeVille? He was a semifinalist in the recent WWE Tough Enough competition, so he has been looked at by some very important people. Knife edge chops, Irish whip with a reversal by Slick Wagner Brown. Rock and Rebel over with a hip toss, scoop slam. Wagner Brown is down again. You can just feel the impact of that body slam. These are some powerful men in there, Joe. Slick Wagner Brown, all his offense has been stopped. Three tags in the big man. 6'7, 290. Dorian DeVille, but Rock and Rebel. Taking it for Dorian DeVille as well. Trying to catch it for a slam cross body by the Rebel. Gets the big man down. But only for a count of two. I'm impressed with Rock and Rebel. I didn't think he'd be able to take down a man as big and powerful as Dorian DeVille like, like he just did. That's impressive. Now we're going to see the big man. And the State Puff Marshmallow Man is in the ring. Flapjack, no, back body drop, takes down DeVille. You better watch, don't say the word flapjack around Leslie Leatherman. Another one for Slick Wagner Brown. What do you think, man? This guy's got to be at least 300 pounds. I'm saying he's close, closer to 350. Oh. Knife edge shot, he's got a lot of power behind those blows, though. That's the advantage of being so big. Each of those arms got to weigh 100 pounds alone. First of all, so we've got at least 600 pounds of beef in the ring right now. Oh. Leatherman getting fired up. Another tackle and no one moves. Now this is an irresistible force, an immovable object. Charge again, cheap shot by Slick Wagner Brown. That's not a cheap shot. He was walking over to get a better look at the match, and Les Leslie Leatherman just happened to walk into his foot. Oh, what do you have, a foot spasm or something? Give me a break, spine buster by DeVille. This one's over, no. Oh, that 
was millimeters away from being a three count. And that shows you right there, Leatherman. It's better than you gave him credit for the kick out of that devastating fly bust. DeVille focusing his offense back on the back now, standing right on the spine as sensation counts. Corey DeVille is a big man, but he's taller than Leslie Leatherman, but he is not heavier. I'm telling you, that Leatherman, he's got to be, he's 375 if he's a pound. Clearly, Leatherman has to get the tag back in. He, to Rock and Rebel, he is the unproven one here. He is the protege in training, so to speak, to join the Rebels Army. Not a full-fledged member yet. Rocky Rebel, the leader of the team, well-established star. They've got to get him before it's too late. Rocky Rebel can't be impressed with his new protege yet. Look at him. There's not much impressive stuff you can do when you're in there with a guy that's 6'7", 2'9". Especially when he's... Leatherman's over 400 pounds himself. He's going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. His boots across your head. And now Slick Wagner Brown, and now was there a tag there? Yes, there was a tag. You need to pay attention to I that. find that highly unlikely. Based, up, based on these men's attitudes. Leatherman still fighting back. Testament to him. Oh, boy, elevation. That was a mistake by Leslie Leatherman. Lateral press off the drop kick. And a beautiful drop kick it was. What a power kick. Leatherman. Take down a 550 pound man like Leslie Leatherman with a drop kick. Might be a little bit of exaggeration, but Leatherman charging in like that. Telegraphed it way too soon. And now the tag back into the bill. Flubbing forearms and blows down to the back. Now driving the knee right into the small of the back. Leslie Leatherman is in big trouble. He is. He's in big trouble. He's going to lose this match. I don't think he will be joining the Rebels Army anytime soon. Front face lock. And think about the power behind that move. As that huge arm closes in on your windpipe. Cuts off the blood supply to the brain. But look at this. The second officiating blunder of the night. What's wrong with these FNW officials? What are you talking about? There's no tag. There's no tag. Walking Rebels trying to cheat. Double Whoa. suplex. I don't believe I just saw that. That almost put a hole in the ring. They just, granted, he's, he, these are two powerful men, but that's a 740 pound man, and they just gave him a double what? suplex. Wow. He cut less love than a little slack. He's not eating while he's in there. He's, he's not gaining weight. That almost put a hole in the ring. That was one of the most impressive feats of strength I have ever seen. Are the crowd, is the crowd chanting Twinkie? They're chanting Twinkie, all right. Back elbow by the big guy, takes Leatherman down. Leatherman press hook of the leg, but Rock and Rebel interrupts the count. Leslie Leatherman, I think his blood sugar might be low. It's been almost seven minutes since he's eaten. Oh. Well, despite the huge frame, he's got to be a tremendous athlete for hanging in there this long. His rear end looks like a drive-in movie screen. I, look at that. He's a disgrace to professional wrestling. Rock and Rebel in again. Another tag missed by CJ Sensation. I think CJ needs to disqualify Rock and Rebel or send him to the back. Are you Le kidding me? This should not be a Leatherman is as big as two men. This should be a two-on-one match because Leatherman has a weight advantage to begin with. This is a travesty thus far. Yes, Come on, Rebel. The ref needs to worry about the action. Stop, stop annoying Slick Wagner Brown. He's a man of honor. He wouldn't cheat. A man of honor. Give me a break. Dunk of the close on Leatherman. Charging in. Oh, Rebel close line. Both big men go down. What, what is, what is Rock and Rebel doing? Is he opening a cookie? Well, these people go straight on wrestling instead of food. He's putting it in Leatherman's mouth. That's a disgrace. I am, I am at a loss for words, Joe Dabrowski. I am at a loss for words. Look at it, it's rejuvenated him. It's like spinach to Popeye. And the fans are cheering this garbage. He's not come on his feet after all that punishment. Thanks to that cookie. And he's hammering away on DeVille back in full slugfest. That cookie has put Leatherman back into this match. Oh, downstairs goes Slick Wagner Brown. Cheap shot. I don't know what you're talking about. I think a straight thumb might have caught Dorian DeVille in the eye as Leatherman went down. He's stunned too. Another chance for Leatherman to get to his leader, Rock and Rebel. I love your logic, Joe Dombrowski. That was a cheap shot. But, but Rock and Rebel using a blatant foreign object, a cookie in the match, in front of everyone, that's okay, right? He didn't hit a guy with it. How do you know? I saw the match. Your monitor must be still going out. Close line by Rock and Rebel. He's tagged in a cleaning house. Shots to Slick Wagner Brown. Shots to DeVille. Leatherman visibly fatigued. Tag back in off the spine buster. No, what is this? No. Hit toss oh. into the senton. And the Dorian DeVille, all the wind has to be out of this. That's more than a thousand pounds. Splashing down on Dorian DeVille. Well, 
I tried. Leslie Lemons tipped the scales at 1,003 pounds. Maybe, maybe more like 350, but still very, very smart move by Leatherman to use the bulk of that frame to his advantage, but Wagner Brown interrupted it. But I was doing the deal still walking after 1,200 pounds came down on oh, his chest. Oh, stop it. Maybe you should go on trim spot. Brown collides with Leatherman. Grab with another spot. Inverted DDT by Dorian DeVille. Leatherman and Brown are down. The fatigue setting in on all four of these men. Rebel and DeVille having trouble getting back to their feet. Big boot right to the chest of Rock and Rebel. Didn't get the height he might have wanted, but it did enough damage. Look at that slog. And there's a problem. There's another man. The legal man in the ring. Well, how would you feel if you took all this punishment? You wouldn't be jumping around. I wouldn't be in that ring if, if I, unless I was in shape to be in that ring. I'm not asking you to go in the ring. I'm just saying, if I were a wrestler. Irish whip by Leather, by the bill to Leatherman. Leatherman's out on his feet right now. He's out of gas, man. I know, he hasn't eaten cookies in nearly two minutes. I mean... Look at this, charging through. Avalanche in the corner. Has he got the cover? Count it to count it to Leatherman come out for his first match with Rock and Rebel and win the matchup. He scored the pinfall for his team. Regardless of looks, regardless of eating habits, Leslie Leatherman a force to be reckoned with. The question is now, is he deserving to be a full-fledged member of the Rebels' army? No, he's not. He was embarrassed, but he got lucky. I have never seen such a blatant display of foreign object usage. Twinkies, cookies, pies, half of that. See this sensation? What? Are suddenly foreign objects okay if, it's, if they're his buddies using them? Well, time will tell if the recruitment of Leslie Leatherman into the Rebels' army is a success.